Hello family and friends and viewers. We're going to fix a uh, wire gate out at Stop. the waterer. We're going to fix a gate at the uh, water, the water between 11 and 12. And uh, I'm not sure if we didn't put a, a gate out here or if a gate got destroyed or what, but we need to replace one because we're going to move the cows from 9 down here at 11. And I don't want them running out and running down in 12, so we're gonna put the gate up right. Okay, we're gonna put the gate directly on this side because when it's hooked up, it will be hot. We don't want to put it on the hot side, so when, hook, when it's laying on the ground, it's hot. We just want to hook it up when, it, when it's hooked up, we're gonna make it hot. So we're gonna start over here. Yes, uh, spring. Yep. I don't have the temperature. We are waiting for some rain predicted for tonight yeah, and tomorrow. Yeah. And this is just another one of those maintenance uh, videos uh, that we're always, always staying on to trying to stay on top of it so we've got a spring they're, they're connecting to the post then the cable is going to go to the spring and then the other end of the cable is going to go into a spring type handle we have enough cable um, from two former gates that they're going to uh, use on this. And they're connecting everything. We don't have, we don't have, uh, we don't have a lot of use out here. We don't want to put the gals out here once a year, maybe twice a year if, if really need to, but we don't have, uh, there's no reason for us to put a real good gate up here. It's going to wire. Let's check we see that wire blown in the ground. This is, uh, they're putting each end into what we call a pill. But Which it's is actually, a, it's just a wire crimp. A wire crimp. And, um, okay. so we can make use of older wires. Older gate, gates that have been replaced since. And we think maybe this is, this gate was out here this piece for the one originally, or the one that Wayne got, Wayne ran over. When he was out here mowing last year. Don't put them away. No. You got a pill? Yeah. Just grab the one. Put the wire back in the mule. We'll use it again too. We'll use it on the other side. Or six. Oh. I hear a little thunder. And voila, a up, new gate. It is hot. You want to touch it and find out? No, I don't think so. Okay.
And this is the second gate yeah. for this uh, waterer. And when the cows are in field 11, which is out here, they have access to this water. All right. You can cut that. Okay. This is field 11 here. We have got there. Cows aren't there yet. We're going to move down a couple days out here. And this is field 12 over here to the south of us. That's where I, I keep the cows off, but I do some baled hay out there, but I use it mostly for the, the, the deer and uh, let the deer have a place to eat and graze and and I uh, got a, a deer feeder out there and stuff. This is the water here. This water is supplies, supplies both places and this gate, the way I've set this up is this water can serve two places, two fields. So we put a gate across that on that side, uh, that gate we just, we just fixed and that makes this open to field 12. We put a gate right behind, we're right behind where Susan's standing for recording, and we'll back that out and show it. That leave that uh, up, and then that opens field 11, so the cows can get in here and stay out of 12. And so I set it up so I can use one tire water for two fields. And the way they wanted me to do it is when we run the hot wire across the water and cut it in half. I thought by uh, doing the way I'm doing it. I get the whole water all the way around if the cows to, to use instead of just having half of it. And so I liked, I liked my idea better. Thanks for, for watching. I hope you subscribe. Uh, you leave a comment, uh, hit the bell, and you know, uh, hit the thumbs up. Uh, I'd love to have, have any comments you guys might have or suggestions or anything. We'd like to hear it. Subscription but, is free. So, yeah, subscription is free. And if you want to uh, send me an email, it's butlerfamilyfarm at yahoo.com.